From a drug dealer in South Carolina who flipped his truck during a high-speed pursuit, and a Florida Highway Patrol officer who skidded off the road during this wild chase, to a black Yukon that was shooting sparks at tailing police officers, and much more. Here are seven police dashcam moments you wouldn't believe if not filmed. LaQuandra Borden could have gone home with a small fine. All the 25-year-old had to do was apologize and return some stolen merchandise to Walmart. Instead, she decided to run and is now serving seven years in prison for first-degree assault and battery. It began around 10.30 a.m. on November 10th of 2015. Officers in Horry County, South Carolina, responded to a local Walmart after the manager caught LaQuandra and her friend, 36-year-old Chastity Stokes, shoplifting. Officers stopped their black Jeep and detained both women outside the store. As the story goes, multiple cameras and employees saw LaQuandra and Chastity loading over $2,000 worth of merchandise into plastic tubs in their shopping cart. Then, they tried escaping the store through the garden center exit, only to be stopped by a manager. During their conversation, police allowed LaQuandra to return to her car to get something. Their first mistake was giving this woman the benefit of the doubt. There's no way she'll try to run while surrounded by police, right? Uh oh, ma'am. Turn out the car! Oh. Get out of the car! Back up, back up! Back up! Back up! Put it apart! Put it apart! Put it apart! Get out of the car now! Get out of the car! During the scuffle, one of the officers discharged his weapon, striking LaQuandra in the arm. She drove off as they scrambled back to their cars and began a high-speed chase through Horry County. When they finally catch up, they realize her Jeep is smoking from the damage sustained during the earlier crash. At this point, it's clear that LaQuandra isn't going down without a fight. She thinks she's above the law and doesn't care about anybody but herself. Watch as she weaves through traffic and nearly runs this car off the road. As crazy as she might be, you have to give her credit. She's driving on three tires and has a bullet in her arm, and still, LaQuandra keeps the pedal to the metal. But no matter how hard she tries, she won't make it much further. That's because other officers are waiting with spike strips to pop the rest of her tires.
Now, all our officers have to do is play the waiting game. They know her Jeep won't last much longer, and it finally stops in the middle of the road. In South Carolina, shoplifting between $2,000 and $10,000 is a felony offense punishable by a $1,000 fine and up to five years in jail. Assuming LaQuandra didn't have any priors, she may have gotten away with a slap on the wrist. Now she's looking at assault and battery, hit and run, and criminal conspiracy. About a year after this wild chase, LaQuandra was sentenced to seven years in prison. Chastity was arrested and charged with three counts of shoplifting and criminal conspiracy. It's unclear if she spent any time in jail. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to meet the most insufferable woman in Peach County, Georgia. Break glass! Break glass! Break glass! Get out the car! Get out! Get out! Get out. The tires are flat! Police officers race back to their cars to catch up with 24-year-old Sierra Hibbert. Watch as she turns this Georgia road into a demolition derby. Sierra wiggles free and the chase is back on. Luckily, officers put stop sticks under her car at the original crash site. She's not going anywhere on four flat tires. Officers finally box Sierra in and pull her from the car. You won't believe what this woman had to say as they arrested her. Sir. Ma'am. We got it. I know I'm buckled, sir. I know I'm buckled, sir. Yeah. Sir. No. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it, sir. You just tried to kill 10 people. No, I did not, sir. Alex, what's no. happening? Sir, stop. Uh -huh. Others. About three different stop signs ago, and started saying that I was driving recklessly, and I was not. 
Well, you can't kill that kid! I didn't do anything like Yes, you did! You almost killed three people! How? I mean, what did I do? Don't even ask how! How? You killed three people! Put her in my car. Yeah. The kid this rightfully angry woman is referring to is the toddler in the back seat of Sierra's car. You can see a man taking the girl away if we stop the video right here. But if Sierra said she didn't do it, then she didn't do it, right? A ghost must have taken over her car and fled when police finally stopped her. Let's watch her do everything she's accused of one more time via this police officer's body cam. In the end, Sierra was arrested and brought to county jail. It's unclear what she was charged with, but we bet it involves reckless driving, endangering a child, and assault with a deadly weapon. June 20th of 2024, St. Lucie County, Florida. Highway Patrol Trooper Elvis Nolasco is tailing behind a white Mercedes four-door heading north on the Florida Turnpike. After running the vehicle's plate, Trooper Nolasco learned that the driver's license was suspended and the county had a seizure order on the tags. Trooper Nolasco pulled up to the Mercedes and activated his lights and sirens. But 28-year-old Derek Taylor Jr. decided to hit the gas instead of pulling over, sparking an action-packed high-speed chase down the Florida Turnpike. At this point, Taylor Jr. is pulling over 80 miles per hour while driving on the left shoulder. It's a rough and bumpy ride, but our officer doesn't let that bother him. Police don't know it, but there's a good reason why Derek and his passenger, William Woods, are running. Their car is filled with illegal drugs. We're talking oxycodone, MDMA, marijuana, and cocaine. Getting caught means going straight to jail. These guys want to avoid that at all costs. Getting off at the 152, getting off the After a short detour through town, our suspects get back on the highway. Trooper Nolasco follows and watches as this chase almost ends itself.
let's see that final pit maneuver one more time from another officer's perspective. Both men were arrested and police inevitably found all the drugs in their car. They were hit with multiple possession charges, but Taylor got it worse as the driver. He was charged with fleeing, reckless driving with property damage, and leaving the scene of a crash. After being medically cleared, both men landed in St. Lucie County Jail. Chester, South Carolina is a small rural city in Chester County. It's home to about 5,600 people and a Cowboys fan who tried trafficking drugs through town. It began when police pulled behind a white pickup truck driven by 51-year-old Eric Bernard. He pulled into a parking lot and seemed willing to talk at first. Then he peeled away, leading officers on a high-speed chase that ended with a wild crash. Hold on a minute, man. Let me roll the window. Man, let me roll my window. I gotta shut it and roll the window. Hey, come on, man. 85 miles an hour. Still on. Right on. Ashford Street, heading for south. 1050. With Eric in handcuffs, officers were able to search his truck. Inside, they found 112 grams of fentanyl and about 56 grams of methamphetamine. Eric also had over $4,000 cash and several other pills on his person. In the end, he was charged with possession with intent to distribute. According to the Chester County Sheriff, the amount of fentanyl that Eric was carrying equated to 56,000 deadly doses. That's almost double the population of Chester County. Wesley Anderson had no intention of going to jail. On July 15th of 2023, the 42-year-old escaped police custody as officers in Kenosha County, Wisconsin were taking him to prison. According to police, Wesley carjacked two people before ending up in a blue Camaro in Pleasant Prairie, a small village in the southeast corner of Kenosha County. Thankfully, the car wasn't hard to spot, leading to this high-speed chase through rural Wisconsin.
Let's see if Wesley can dodge the other set of spike strips waiting for him up the road. Up ahead, officers try blocking the leftmost lane, trying to force Wesley toward more strips on the right-hand side. He sees it coming and veers into oncoming traffic to avoid them again. Wesley gets back in his lane and makes a beeline for the highway. Then, for some reason, his car starts slowing down and stops in the middle of the ramp. Now we know he avoided the spike strips and he'd never stop voluntarily, so why is his car slowing down? Now Wesley didn't know it, but this Camaro was equipped with OnStar, a navigation and crash detection service you probably have in your car. When the owner reported their vehicle stolen, OnStar kicked in and shut down the engine while Wesley was driving. Body cam footage shows the officers approaching to arrest Wesley. Watch how this hard criminal cries like a baby when police move in with their weapons drawn. We're going to keep lethal. we move nice and slow, boys. Yep. Nice and slow. I'll look right at you. Please don't kill me, guys. I won't move. Stop. 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 Please, stop. Please. stop it. Make it clear. Danny Moore, hang on. Please don't kill me, guys. If please. you reach for anything, you're going to... You understand. All right. Why are, you, why are you pointing your gun at me, please? We're okay, taking it. Please, all of our safety. Please, all right. we're willing to take this place. Please, guys, don't do this. Please, don't do this. I have hands here. Please, 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 yep. Don't move. Please, Cut the, yep. Get down on the ground. Once the belt's free, get on the ground. Please don't hit me. On the ground. Please don't hit me, guys. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I won't hurt you. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Don't let his whimpering fool you. Wesley is a career criminal who doesn't care about anybody but himself. Before police found him, Wesley stole a van and crashed it into someone's BMW, causing severe injuries. Instead of helping, he robbed the next closest car, which wound up being the blue Camaro. And he wasn't done either. Watch as he threatens to defecate in a trash can while police stand guard at the hospital. Now let a nurse come in and assist you. They need I just to bring in the bedpan for you to oh, utilize. Okay, okay, okay. All right. No, that's the garbage can. Oh. I call it a bedpan. They're not using a gar garbage can, sir. Okay. That is the bedpan. That is the bedpan. Stop! Stop! 383, sir. 383, sir. Give me units to the hospital. Get on the bed now! Get on the bed now! 393 Sheriff requesting additional units. Get on the bed now! Get on the bed. I just need to use the washroom. In the end, Wesley wound up shackled to the hospital bed. He was charged with carjacking, first degree reckless endangerment, fleeing, and battery on a police officer. All told, he's looking at about 40 years in prison. Hopefully, they don't let him get away this time. Now, most people spend Valentine's Day with someone they love. This South Carolina Highway Patrol officer spent it chasing a black Yukon in the middle of the night. When the officer pulled behind the car, he noticed that the Yukon still had paper tags, meaning it was likely brand new. 
But it wouldn't stay in new condition for long, as this driver had no intention of talking to the police. Yo! He's taking off. Call it 896, Richmond, Shelby, 10-0. Reasonable stops, possible 10 Yeah, yeah, Our officer loses sight of the suspect as the road bends and the elevation changes. Then, an intersection forces the Yukon to slow down, allowing the officer to catch up. You can't see it in the dash cam footage, but our trooper spots the suspect heading into a residential area. He follows, loses sight again, but then catches the suspect out of the corner of his eye. He's lucky the driver doesn't know where he is and accidentally turns down a dead-end road. Back up, he went right, he went right. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Our trooper spins around, and the chase is back on. He may not have a visual on the suspect, but the other officer's lights and constant radio contact help keep him in the chase. He catches up and learns over the radio that the driver's front tire is damaged. But even on three wheels, this guy refuses to stop. He pushes it to the bitter end, even kicking up a wave of sparks while driving on pure metal. Single tree. Yeah. Huh. Right on book, man. Oh, he's in somebody's yard. He's spinning out. I'm gonna box him in. in the vehicle. Yo, do you not hear me talking to you? 
Hey, is it? Don't move. Do not move. Do you understand? Hey, secure him. Officers move in and arrest the suspect. He's holding something in his hand, but we're not sure what. We're thinking it might be drug-related, as another officer walks up and asks the man if he ate anything dangerous. We never learn the suspect's name or what he was charged with. All we know is he'll be spending his Valentine's Day alone in a jail cell. On March 4th of 2024, Florida Highway Patrol Officer Skiera was patrolling I-75 when he spotted a white Dodge Charger with blacked out windows. He pulled up behind the driver and tried initiating a traffic stop, but this guy had other ideas. He hit the gas and aimed for the nearest exit ramp. Maybe he could ditch the officer by looping on and off the highway. Our driver, later identified as Tobias Cody, gets back on the highway and hits the gas. He bobs and weaves between cars, and his reckless moves put some distance between his charger and the police. It takes some time, but Trooper Skiera finally catches up, hitting speeds well over 120 miles per hour. Backup finally arrives when Trooper Prosper joins the chase. Unfortunately, he doesn't stay in it for long. It might look like Prosper wrecked out, but he actually ended the chase. You can tell what happened once we return to Trooper Skiera's dash cam. Thankfully, Trooper Prosper was okay and was able to help Skiera arrest the suspects. Tobias Cody and his passenger, Roosevelt Williams, were cuffed and charged with aggravated fleeing, battery, and property damage. Our troopers also found marijuana and a loaded handgun inside the car. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.